Good evening from Hurricane Central. This week we are going to do topic six. What is the state of the economy and how do you know? Yes, I know that school is closed tomorrow for the hurricane, so I do not expect you to come to class. Ha ha. That's just one of the advantages of taking an online course. Besides, you're not going to have to do anything, or I'm sorry, you're not going to have anything to do over the next few days, so I'm doing you a favor here by keeping you from being bored. The required reading for this topic is chapter 11 in the Sexton book, but you might also want to look at one or two of the additional readings, especially if you don't feel like you've mastered the material from Sexton. So how is the economy doing this year? Take a moment and try to answer that question. How did you go about answering the question? How does one figure out the state of the economy? It turns out there's no one thing you can look at or one place you can go to find the answer. In fact, there's no one right answer either. Answering the question, even for a professional economist, requires judgment. The way one assesses the state of the economy is to look at a variety of economic statistics or indicators. The broadest measure of our economic activity is gross domestic product, or GDP. GDP measures how many goods and services we're producing as a nation. If GDP goes up, it means we're producing more stuff. If I told you that GDP was currently $14 trillion, would that make you feel like the economy was doing well? For most people, that kind of number is too large to be meaningful. The actual GDP in 2012 is around $15 trillion. So for people in the know, $14 trillion would be bad news. It's easier to pay attention to the growth rate of GDP, or more precisely, the percent change in real GDP. If growth speeds up, that's usually a good thing. If it slows down, that's usually bad. The most recent published growth rate for the third quarter of 2012 was 2% at an annual rate which is on the low side of good. The average long run growth rate for the US economy is about 3%. So if the gro growth rate is above three, we're doing better than average. If it's below three, we're doing worse than average. GDP growth isn't the only economic indicator that you should look at. Some others include the unemployment rate, the inflation rate, interest rates, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, or some other measure of the stock market the size of the federal deficit, and more. The way one judges the state of the economy is by looking at a variety of economic indicators and making a judgment about what they are saying, bearing in mind that it's common for some indicators to be saying things are good while others are saying things are bad. You just have to weigh the, the various indicators and come up with your best guess. Your job this week is to explore these ideas in more detail so that in the future, you'll be able to make an educated guess about the state of the economy. The next essay will test your ability to do just that. The hardest part of topic six is probably understanding the distinction between nominal and real measurements. The simple explanation is this. Inflation distorts nominal measurements, while real measurements correct for that distortion. So most of the time, what you should be really interested in is real measurements. Here's a question to think about. Is the person wearing the Michelin Man costume actually skinny or fat? The person in the costume is like a nominal measurement. Inflation has inflated his measurements to make him look bigger than he actually is. But without removing his costume, we can't say how much. The person without the costume is like a real measurement. So one of the things that we're gonna be learning how to do is taking nominal measurements and converting them into real measurements. We call that deflating. Let me know if you have any questions about this material by Twitter using the class hashtag pound sign econ 201 online. We're gonna to try to complete this topic by Thursday. So start reading and start thinking about what it is that you don't understand because we'll be talking about that. Bye now.